Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, we're going to work on plans and sections. Uh, so I'm going to hide everything here. And by everything, I mean the topography, uh, the water for the lake, everything related to the landscaping. And I want to maybe hide them. And I can also go with uh, remove hidden objects from here. So we can only focus on the building itself. Uh, next, I want to create a section. So if you don't have this menu, you can simply right click here and go to the section. I'm going to move this over there, draw a new section. And uh, if you hover the mouse around any surface, it's going to start creating sections. Uh, the best way to decide uh, how to choose the plane is to go with arrow keys. So you see, if I hit top arrow key, it's going to create a horizontal section, which is actually a plan. And you can go with right and left to switch to uh, other sections. So I want to hit top arrow key. I want the section for uh, the second floor to be here. Actually, I want to first get the plans. Uh, in order to get the plans, you actually need to cut the building, right? So I want to click here. And I want to name it as my plan second floor or 2FL for uh, floor number two. This seems good. Let's say OK. Uh, now you see the section line is very high. How can I adjust it? Uh, I want to select the section. You see the section plane is here. Because I have a big topography here, that's why uh, the scene is too big. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to hit M for move. And I want to click on one of the edges, lower down the section plane. Like somewhere around here should be good. I'm going to click here. And uh, this seems about right. Now, uh, what else you can do? There are a couple of options. We can play around with them. One of them is here. If I click once, it's going to uh, make a solid pattern where we have the section. I actually like this. I want to keep it. If I click on this one, it's going to uh, show the section plane or it's going to not show it. Right? I'm going to go with not show for now because I have already adjusted. Uh, so this was for the solid fill. I want it to be on, uh, this one to be off, and this one actually to be on. Otherwise, it's not going to show the cut part. Right? Now let me go to the top view. This seems all good. Uh, so first I want to save this. Right? So later I can easily come back to the section. Uh, I want to make one scene here. Uh, we're going to uh, talk about scenes in more depth in the next video. But under uh, this default tray here, which by the way, you know, if it goes away, you can simply bring it back by going to the windows. And I want to click on the scene. I want to add a new scene. And it already renamed it as scene one. How about we change the name? You can change it from here or we can change it by right clicking and rename from here. Right. How about I go with plan second floor or 2FL. What's in the scene actually? What will be saved as a scene? Camera location, hidden objects, etc. etc. So whatever you change, for instance, if you uh, unhide your hidden objects, uh, and then update the scene, those changes will be saved. So these are all the scenes and I want them to be included. So I'm going to keep the check marks here. Now see if I go to a different view and if I double click on the scene which is added here, it's going to take me to the exact view. Now this might be something you're looking for, but I'm looking for something more technical or uh, black and white. So I don't want to keep it like this. I want to change the style. So under styles, there are a set of styles here. Uh, I want to go with uh, style builder competition winners. I'll go with this one. And I want to try maybe one of these ones for the plan. Uh, so this looks good. Uh, notice that if I double click here, 
it did not save the style so what shall I do when you change the style you need to right click and update the scene because style is one of the things which will be saved under the scene options right so uh, I also want to edit this a little bit so when the type of style is selected go to edit and feel free to work with these numbers you can turn on profiles if you want and it's going to show the profile of the stairs and other profiles you can change the extensions maybe to one and see that it's going to change a little bit uh, I think this seems nice uh, for the plan so I'm going to keep it uh, and I want to of course update the scene update the scene all looks good uh, how about we add some dimensions uh, but uh, dimensions usually show in all the views so what I want to do is that under tags I want to add a tag I want to name it as dimension and I want to make it the active layer by clicking on it now whatever I create is gonna go to this layer and I can turn it off in other views so how do we add dimensions we can go to dimension from here from the large tool set I'm gonna click here once click here once and click somewhere around here so this is one dimension I'm gonna get a couple more it's starting to look like a more realistic plan view click once here I want to add one dimension here so go to dimension notice that you can move them after that too right and uh, I want to add one in this room so go to dimension again first point second point I want to leave this somewhere around here and maybe one more on the room in the south side so if I hover the mouse around here it's going to align it with that other dimension that we have over there how about I move this a little bit to the right so it's gonna look better so now I'm gonna first uh, let me double click here that's good and if I go with a different layer so I can turn the dimension tag off let me like uh, make this active layer now I can turn the dimension off so all of them are in one tag so if you change your mind you don't want to see it in other views you can turn it on or off so this seems good maybe I need to move this one a little bit up let's go here maybe I should also move this to a little bit higher double click on the scene to see what you're gonna see at the end everything looks good in this view I want to right click here and update it just in case I made any changes uh, I want them to be saved uh, so now if you go to any other view like this and then double click on the scene which is plan second floor it's gonna take you to that section so it's already saved there uh, that looks good I want to go to the other view uh, feel free to change the style uh, I can go to select go to in model go to the uh, basically the default one right if this is more familiar to you uh, and next I want to create another uh, plane uh, you can create a second plan for your first floor plan I'm gonna leave that to you uh, but first now I want to create a section which is gonna cut around here I want to see the stairs and maybe the bathroom around here is gonna be a cross section so how about I uh, actually go with do not cut which is this option and now I want to add another section section plane click on it I want to hover the mouse around here and you remember we can use the arrow keys to switch from this axis to this one so I want to click once and section 1 that's good or I can name it as cross section oh, actually section 1 is good I'll leave it as section 1 and that's all good let's say OK uh, and feel free to 
turn this on so you can select this section plane and you can move it back and forth so if I come here go with M I can go in this direction right I think it's good now it's cutting the stairs and it shows the bathroom everything is good I can see the parapets so let's turn this off and notice that this is still on which shows um, the fill in the section itself and uh, I want to display the cut so this is also on right how about I go to my right view because this is the right side of this of the building this seems good here I want to save this as one scene so I'm gonna go to the scenes click once and I want to name this as section 1 okay now let's go to styles if I go to in model of course I can go with this one that we had but just to show you a variety of styles I'm gonna go with the default styles and there is this one not the wireframe hidden line I guess this is not a bad one either uh, especially for 2d views I'm gonna go to edit uh, but I want to see the railway of the stairs so I want to uh, click on the profile now that shows so you can change the thickness or something but I want to leave it on one so the thin lines keep thin uh, this one no extension is not bad either I want to keep it on uh, you can decide about endpoints I want to turn it off I don't want the endpoints extensions is on three I want to move it maybe to one just a little extension here so we can see the edges better uh, and how about I go to my tags oh first we need to also update the scene otherwise it's not gonna consider the new style that we selected update yes then I want to go to the tags I want to make sure that the dimension tag is uh, actually the active layer which is just by simply clicking here uh, the pencil icon shows which means this is active right now I would like to add some dimensions how about I go with this item here I want to add dimension here another one here there we go and now I'm gonna do the parapet dimensions from here to here and I want it to be around here so we also have the parapet height so looks good uh, notice that the current tag cannot be off you need to click on a different tag so it's gonna be on and then you can turn the dimension off so feel free to add more dimensions this looks good uh, I just want to make sure that the scene is updated feel free to add more sections I also want to add one section perspective so how about I just rotate like this and I think this is a very nice section perspective view so uh, we can also go with this one feel free to change the style or something but I like this black and white mode so I'm gonna keep it uh, I think the angle and everything looks good uh, just in this one when I first uh, make a scene so click here and I want to rename it let's rename it from here as section perspective in this one I want to turn the dimensions off and then you have to update it uh, and of course you need to create another view for plan first floor you need to create more sections maybe more section perspectives feel free to uh, try different styles here there are so many styles see which ones look better on to the 3d view so so far we have one scene here and actually I want to hide you see this there is a line here I want to hide the display section plane so that goes away and then update it we have one scene here section one this is already hidden here so we are good and one section perspective and in this view also these are turned off 
so in the next video we're going to talk about uh, how to create animation and uh, further scenes with different styles.